after years and years of being mostly an outdoor gardener, I'm expanding my gardening world and starting an indoor hydroponics system. Join me today as I share with you unboxing an initial setup of my ebb and flow hydroponics system from Aircube. Hi, I'm Gardner Scott, and because most of my focus has been on my outdoor garden, I haven't really done much with hydroponics other than helping out some gardener friends who might have had a homemade setup in their apartment or house. I'm looking for a system, something I can set up in my grow room that's easy to manage, something that would be appropriate for a gardener who's brand new to hydroponics. And this definitely fits the bill. This is the Air Cube from Grow Ace. It's an ebb and flow system. And this is one of the easiest ways that you can get into hydroponics. The idea behind this is that a central brain determines when the nutrient rich water flows into the cubes where the plants are growing. That nutrient rich water feeds the roots. And then the brain says, flow out. That's the ebb. And so the water will go back into the reservoir. And during that process, it sucks in oxygen that roots also need. So between the water with nutrients and the oxygen in the air, the plants get everything they need to grow. And because the central brain is doing almost all of the work, all a gardener has to do is set it up, put the water in with the nutrients, and wait for the plants to grow. Let's begin putting everything together by unboxing the Advanced Brain Controller Module. One of the nice things about this controller module is that it's expandable. I'm starting with six air cube grow buckets. This controller can actually manage up to 36 of the air cube buckets. And in this module, we have all the pieces we need to get everything started and set up. We have tubes, an instruction manual, and all of the joints and couplings that we'll need to set up the system. The next part of the system are the grow buckets. Now with the air cube system, these are five gallon buckets, which are the biggest on the market for a system like this. We also have tubing and the grow bags. Now these grow bags are a very important part of this system. Because of these cloth grow bags that fit inside these cubes, the roots will end up pruning themselves. One of the big problems with hydroponic growing is that the roots can just take over the growing space. With all that nutrient-rich water, the roots are just going to go nuts. Well, these bags allow for air pruning. And the way this works is that we have our bags inside each of our buckets. And we can use whatever growing medium we want in these bags. Cocoa core, perlite, clay balls, even potting soil can go into these grow bags. And as the plants grow in this nutrient-rich and oxygen-rich environment, the roots are going to start growing. But when they hit the sides of the bag, they self-prune. Roots can't grow in just open air. And so once that nutrient-rich water ebbs away and the oxygen starts coming in, the roots aren't going to grow outside the bag. And so this is an ideal way to keep the plants under control and to keep the roots 
from overpowering the container. The cloth grow bags are supported by this plastic cube. This is where the water will actually flow in and out of. And then the bags themselves fit very neatly into each of the cubes. In addition to the grow bags and grow cubes, this box also includes an instruction manual, lots of extra tubing, some rubber grommets, and some T and corner connectors. Now let's take a look at the reservoir. This is where the water flows in and out of. It also has instructions with it, some couplers, valves and grommets, and the collapsible reservoir itself with the support tubes. This is a 25 gallon reservoir, which is more than enough for these six grow buckets. If you're setting up a bigger hydroponic system, you can get reservoirs from grow waste of 60 gallons and 105 gallons. But of course you need the space to set it up. And the space is a very important factor when determining the system that you're going to get. This is my grow area. I already have lights set up. Normally I have a table here for some of the overflow seedlings that I grow. Well, I took the table out and this is where I'm going to set up my hydroponic system. The basic layout for this system is to have the six grow buckets lined up in two rows. The grow bags filled with the appropriate medium will be inside. We have the main brain controller with a timer that we can set. And then on the end is the reservoir that will be filled with the nutrient rich water. With everything laid out, the next step is to read the instructions and start connecting all of the pieces. I unboxed my air cube system in the location that I'm planning to use it. That'll save you some time and energy if you plan to do that and also plan for your lights. Now, I already had these lights set up because I grew plants on a table here. One of the nice things about this system is that I have these ratchets that will enable me to control the height of the lights as the plants grow. It's a great idea. I use these for all of my plants. So with light and with a secluded area that you don't really need to worry about, you can choose any location, including outdoors, to set up an ebb and flow system like this. After years of wanting to do it, I'm finally on the path to easy hydroponic growing. And everything I need to set up is within arm's reach. So. I'll take a look at the manuals, start putting all the pieces together, and start growing indoors hydroponically with a system that doesn't take much effort. The brain does most of the work. Look for future videos as I continue this journey and show you how I grow hydroponically. I'm Gardener Scott. Enjoy gardening.